briefing. Oh, with yeah, you. of course. Okay, so uh, my name is Phil. I'm in the car with uh, Cheyenne Allen, and we're going to do five laps in the Italia. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. Good. Uh, got that on there. Um, uh, here, let me help you out. Make sure you get this right. Um, so, just to go through what they, uh, they told you in the briefing, real quick. Um, you can go as fast as you want, as long as you do everything correctly, and that really boils down to being smooth. And, it, and with these cars, or with this car, it's especially important to be smooth because uh, it's got a lot of power, and if you accelerate out of the corner a little too soon, you're going to feel the computer kick in to prevent us from mm -hmm. losing the rear. So you end up with not a, as good an entry uh, to the straight, and so you don't get to go as fast down the straight because you're not entering correctly. So. We really want to be smooth, and a lot of that is kind of holding back and having patience, which is really hard to do when you've got a cool car like this, but it's important oh, to get yeah. the most out of a lap and to really enjoy the performance of the car. So uh, as we approach a corner, you're going to see those two red cones, just mm -hmm. like that, and uh, when I say brake, I'll say brake, and when you brake, uh, nice steady brake pressure and keep the pressure until we hit the turn-in cone, which is that single green cone. Mm -hmm. When we get to that turn-in cone, look to see where you want to go and your hands will follow your eyes. So uh, at that point, you will release the brake, nice steady throttle around the corner, no going back and forth, wow, 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 you know, just nice steady, we pick a speed uh, that's comfortable for the car. And then as you exit the corner, you can unwind the steering wheel, squeeze the throttle, and then you go as fast as you want. Now, with this car, we've got either paddle shift or automatic. Did you want to do the paddle shift? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. So, you notice that the paddle shifters don't go with the wheel. The paddle shifters stay in the column. So, we do all of our shifting, you have to do it when you're going straight, straight, in a straight line, both shifting up and down. With this particular car, the lowest gear we're gonna be in is fourth. So you don't want to go down any more than fourth, and I'll, I'll guide you along with that, because uh, uh, you know this. We don't want to over rev the engine. We don't want to break anything, and even in fourth on this track, there's plenty of torque in oh, this car. Yeah. It's I'm really sure. a quick car, so we'll be fourth, fifth, and maybe uh, hit sixth down one of the straights, okay. and then back to fourth. So I'll guide you along. Um, if you're not, if you don't have paddle shifters and aren't real. Uh, custom to them, what I'm going to do is I'll tap your hand like this okay. to, sh to tell you upshift like this and you'll know it's on the right, mm -hmm. you know, and then when I say downshift, I'll point Left. and that way you know which ones to use. We wouldn't want to upshift and you end up pushing the wrong one and we overread the engine. So uh, I'll, I'll guide you uh, with that. Also, if we come across a car behind us and I see that wants to pass, that is uh, faster than us, then uh, no problem. I will turn on the emergency flashers, I'll hold onto the wheel, and I'll guide us uh, to one side of the track or another. The guy behind us sees that it's safe, he works his way around, and then once he's around and has executed the pass, the car is back into your control. And the same thing if we are the faster car, let's hold off. As soon as we see the flashers, then we can go ahead and uh, go work our way around, and I'll hold on to the steering wheel when we're doing that. So, again, this is a powerful car. Just remember sometimes um, slow in is fast out, you know? Sometimes a little patience then pays off in the long run. Taking, initially taking the corner a little slower on the chicane so that you make the second one faster and you exit faster and you're going down the straight faster is a much better way to go than entering too fast and then you're oh oh and you're struggling through the whole series of corners mm -hmm. so little patience and uh, this car powers, will useless. yes the car will reward patience so pretty fourth's going to be our lowest gear in the, any of this absolutely cool. yeah so so you'll see first the, second uh, and third is probably so dang short huh? well it, 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 it is and 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 we'll be going through uh you know, first, second, and third before we get to the first corner. Really? I mean, it's really, uh, it's quick, got quick, so much quick. torque. Bam, bam, bam. So uh, when we get on the track, I'll be telling you, up, tap, up, tap, tap. you know. Cool. Uh, and when you do that, though, you, you you wait a second or two between shifts mm -hmm. because uh, you don't want the gearbox to have two shifts at once mm -hmm. or within a second, and then it kind of messes up the electronics. So, um, so again, I'll, I'll help you with that. Uh, so do you have... Any other questions? Anything about the car or about the track or what we're going to do? No. All right.
right. Well, just ready to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. Oh man. Be when fun. Um, so now uh, the wheels are pointed to the right. So do one full turn to the left. Okay. Now that ought to put us straight. Cool. So if you slowly release the uh, brake mm -hmm. and give it a little bit of gas, everything looks clear. Work our way to the opening of those two barriers. Automatically goes into first. Oh, um, give it one, one tap. One tap to, you see it? Yes, sir. Now, do you see one? Mm -hmm. All right. So just so you know, tap both at the same time. Neutral. <laughs> That's cool. how you get neutral. Yeah. So now we go on one. That's pretty neat. Good. Now, now you can steal a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll work your way around. Nice and easy. And we'll follow the vet, but we stop at the blue cone. Yes, sir. He'll probably take off and do his uh, drifting. Clear on the right. That driver's pretty dang good. Isn't oh, he? he really is. Yeah. Did I put it in neutral when I go. No, you I don't stop? need to. No, you, we'll, we'll never put it in neutral. Cool. I was just showing you, just so you know. Sounds good. All right, stop. And let's see. Hey, I think we're good. So out on the track, stay on the right. Go ahead, and then we'll shift up. Nice steady throttle. And to the right. Wait, wait. Now go. Go. Up. Up. You know, I'll, I'll tell you when to break. You can keep going. Good deal. Sounds good, doesn't it? Downshift before the corner? No, not yet. Keep going. A little more throttle, a little more throttle. We will downshift here, so stay on the right side of the track. Brake, downshift once. And... Steady acceleration in the corner. And go. Stay on the side of the track. Up. And brake. Now turn in right here, real tight, real tight. Keep it steady. Stay to the left, stay to the left. Brake to set the car, now accelerate around. And now brake. Go out a little bit, and then look where you want to be, right there where those cones are. And get ready to give it the throttle, go.
accelerator out. And brake. Brake, brake, brake. Now go out a little. Look where you want to be. That's where you want their wheels. Right there. And go. got a pretty unique sound doesn't it and the and uh, you can't beat the power too oh, yeah. it's a cool car we'll turn left uh, up where those two stationary cones are yeah right okay. here and then go to the right okay. and we'll park on the other side of the other italia you'll see over there on the other, uh, oh, the other? side of the parking lot yeah. yeah left side or right side uh we'll go on its uh left cool yeah you got it down oh, man. man i appreciate it dude you this got it awesome. down this was a blast. I've been all busy every day Saturday. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Left side, also. You know, a park next to right here, right in front of that cone. I don't know why the cone seemed to be kind of messed up. I wonder why the guy was on the train. Stuff right there, right there. I wonder why he was on the train. You know, that was weird. Unless maybe uh, somebody had hit the cones and they were all over the place. Oh no, so adjusted. He went to readjust the cones. Uh, but but still, like, you know. So honestly, how did I do? Huh? Honestly, how did oh, I do? Oh no, I I think that uh, um, your uh, your last couple of laps, uh, some of the corners were about as fast as we were gonna take them in Good. this car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, this so, is awesome, man. No, these are these these are fun cars. I'm so quite, when you own one of these cars, yeah. all that trash control crap, can you turn it off? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, these are all the controls uh, right here. So you got sport mode. A race turns off a lot of them. Wet turns on a lot of them, oh, and yeah. escape turns it off completely. So yeah, you've got uh, you've got all those options. You have to keep it in sport for we, us. We so. have to for, for here. <laughs> but uh, even if you're driving around every day, uh, it's probably a good idea to have them on. Uh, and I'm if, sure that wet one comes. In if you're going to take them off, then you better have a lot of runoff, and you better know what you're doing, mm -hmm. and you better be in an area where you're not going to hit. 